this son of a bitch and fucking uh, probably and I don't know what that is there. B probably B. Hey guys, how's she going today? <clears throat> well, we're working on my beloved old car again here. I know some of you don't see the point in it, but if a guy never got to work on something fun once in a while, you may as well just get the fucking rope out, I guess, as Ryan would say. <laughs> but, we got her running on all eight here now. I'll, uh, I'll put this clip first and then the clip of... Uh, there's a couple of clips of it running, so I can explain to you here what's going on because I never really got a chance in the videos when it was running, but uh, Antoine's got a bunch of harnessing laying here again, but with this MSD, you can set a rev limiter on it, and the way it works is it'll make it start missing once you get to where it's, uh, where your rev limit is set. So with the tack in the car here, we got a tack working and everything in it. Oil pressure, fuck she's making 80 pounds of oil pressure. Back seat put in place. But with the tack, it's set for 5,000 right now, but, so if you want it set for 5,000, you rev the car up till your tack says 2,500, or half of where you want your rev limit to be at. And then there's a little uh, wire that plugs into it here and you ground it for a second and it'll make the tack go up to 5,000 and then back down. And then you'll hear in the video, I know I watched it back here and the speaker on the phone can't handle it because it's so loud, but when it hits, like we were, when we were doing it, it was a 3,500 red line or 3,000, I forget now, but anyway. It'll make the car start missing, so try to listen for that in the... I know I kind of talk a little bit in the clip about what's going on, so... Uh, that's what's going on with that, anyway, but... Ah, uh, what else? That big ugly air filter's not staying on there. That's just for now to keep dust and debris out. But... It's not gonna be orange right off the bat. I tried... I was just going to use a cheap trim clad orange for now. But we're having issues with the trim clad paint. It's just doing a shitty, shitty job. So I've given up on it. And uh, Amanda's twin brother is an auto body man. And all he does day in, day out is paint cars. So I asked him what he figured I should do. And he said, paint it, like so that it's got protection on it because I mean right now the roof is bare metal and we've got all these spots all bare metal and Bondo and what have you paint it but I can't use a gloss so I like black that's my favorite color on vehicles so flat black is the color the car is going to be for now until this summer sometime and uh, he's going <clears> to <throat> give me a hand painting it I want to do a, a good, a real good paint job. I mean, we can paint equipment, but not to the, the degree that I want this guy painted. I want it to have a real paint job. So he's going to help, uh, help do that, and then we can clay bar it and fix all the puck marks and dings and shit in it. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. So what we're working on today is exhaust. See how there's a pipe under there now? Oh, I should turn the light on on my phone, but. So, it's not getting headers till next winter because I'm trying to do this on a budget and I've already spent my quota. <laughs> so, we've got that side on and then this side here is really janky how it's gotta be. We had to cut it and then dad's gonna weld it back together again because uh, Lauren couldn't bend it anymore. You'll see I made a couple little clips of him messing with the muffler pipe. I'll, uh, I'll play that for you right now. I haven't even seen this there's, no, there's no rocket science involved. This is what we want? Yep, yep. 
Oh, okay, it just turned. Yeah. I've never even seen the damn thing run before. So you want so this straight up and down? Like 90 degrees. Yeah. That's what it would be. It's coming out of the exhaust manifold, it's straight up and down. And it just had to get this bend in it to... I'm gonna video you flaring the pipe. Hopefully you don't get mad, Lauren. <laughs> well, I might add to it. It'll make good content, yeah. Bare minimum on our pipe. Yeah, just barely enough to hold it. Need to try running one. Okay, so you've seen them bend in the pipe and how it was uh, didn't want to bite to make the flare. We ended up getting it, but it wasn't quite enough. So dad flared a little bit more here when we cut it, but he couldn't bend it as much as it needed. So dad's gonna tack that all back together because he's quite a bit better at welding than I am with that. So, but it needs to be all janky like that because you see how this it's dumping and aimed right at the frame of the car and then there's a torsion bar right there so it's got to really eh, eh, and over <laughs> to get away from everything so I guess I'll play for you the clips of the car running now from the other day and we'll talk to you again here in a little bit when we've got uh, something else going I'm gonna go get some plastic and Covering the windshield and the missing side window and the back window. And then uh, she'll be just about ready to get hit with some paint here later today or tomorrow more likely. But I guess talk to you in a bit. There, light her off. <laughs> Flip the switch the right way. <laughs> Find out anyway. Alright, so we got our brand new carb on there. Yeah. 
All right, we're gonna see if the wheels turn. Ah! <laughs> Look at that. It'll move. <laughs> That's brighter. Yeah. Where were you before? <laughs> me. At 45 out the back. Should work. Uh-huh. You gonna do it? Both? Yeah. Yeah. Good. I'm gonna go home. No. No? You hope. Okay. Both. Well, <clears throat> we got the majority of one side of the exhaust done here, but uh, not quite. We've got a little bit of welding to do on it yet, but i uh, seen my videos already getting fairly long, so I guess I'm going to throw some primer on here. I'm just using a rattle can for this stuff like this. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of what's going on here. There, that'll be good enough for the time being there on that part anyways I'll give it a couple more coats but I uh, I don't want it to get any too much of it all damp yet because we're still working underneath of it so I'm not going rub against it but I guess it's <clears throat> probably where I'm gonna leave you because I've got a pretty good cold going here and I think I'm gonna go to the end of the house and have a bath here pretty soon throat and ears are getting pretty sore so <laughs> anyway what else can I tell you oh I guess Antoine was fucking around with his brakes here again as you can see by the puddles the brake fluid everywhere he's having issues we got a brand new master but a few of his uh, fittings are leaking and we actually think it's some of the, the hardware the new nuts and uh, pieces that we got that are actually doing it so I don't know if he over tightened them a little bit or just faulty from the factory or what but whatever we'll get it figured out so <sighs> oh, dear eh but I guess not a super exciting video or anything but I wanted to get one put together for you and show you how the old car is coming here so that it's not too big of a jump between when you last saw it to where it is now and so forth but we're gonna try and at least get the painting and the exhaust put together on it so we can hang the front clip back on it and that'll probably be it I'm gonna take it for a drive though obviously because that was what I said that it would run and drive Take it for a little putter around the yard. I can't go too far though without a windshield in this weather because I'll freeze to death. <laughs> At least the guy can putter it around. I gotta get that rad record somewhere. It's fucking leaking out of the corner a little bit. And I gotta get a couple of electric fans for it. The uh, I don't have the mechanical fan and the one that I tried didn't fit in there. So to hell with it. You can get electric ones fairly cheap and everything I've seen they say those are keep them cooler anyways so I guess <clears throat> thank you much for watching and leave a like and subscribe for more and pretty soon here we'll be back to working on farm equipment so talk to you later